Throngs is pretty gay. Keeping it free. Uh, okay, so we played arms. We played the global global uh, test lunch. Global the te- test punch. Double test crunch. Well, Captain Captain, Captain Test Punch. Captain Crunch is. That sounds like a cool superhero name. Ca- what? Global te- global Captain Test <laughs> Punch. Captain Test Punch. It's truth. He tests. That sounds like that sounds like a that sounds like some shit that fucking Johnny Test would have called himself. Don't even fucking remind me of shitty ass Johnny Test. It was fuck perfect. Johnny I, Test. I don't like Johnny Test. Okay, I, I don't like the I don't like the art style. John! I know it's like really cheap, like fucking. Okay, anyway, yeah. so Arms is gay. All right, it has a gay agenda. <laughs> it is the gay agenda. It is the gay. It's it. They're just it's like, always been the gay just agenda. The, I love my favorite meme right now is like uh, whenever they're talking about Arms, they just have like the word whatever that's the, the the word that they're talking about in the meme in the arms logo so it was like talking about twin tail it was ass in the fucking arms <laughs> logo and yeah, it was I like and it was etika and he said like um when, when nintendo sent seven sending everybody uh copies of arms and i'm not getting shit and said nigga in the fucking <laughs> arms thing <laughs> okay so uh we played arms it was fun um motion controls uh they they felt pretty good once i got the hang of them they have a learning curve like any like yeah any- yeah uh, motion controls that's but, just how it is but like max of half hour which is pretty good yeah no no it was fin- yeah. it, it was the fact that like by the end of us playing arms i felt more competent than i have playing any fucking game of tech or street fighter like just For after sure, yeah, any yeah, amount yeah. of time totally. not just like over that same amount of time yeah after hours it's got that kind of effect that nintendo has pr- kind of mastered lately with splatoon and smash uh where it it's the classic you know Easy to learn, but hard to low, master. Low entry fee. Exactly. Um, High skill yeah, cap. Yeah, like, yeah. everybody can play it at first. All kids can have fun. There's silly volleyball, basketball games. But there's, like, grabbing. There's blocking. There's, like, a bunch of different shit and a bunch of different arm combos that make everything feel different and, like, pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised by how much, like, genuine, like, not, like, simple fun. Like, I'm... Uh, oh, I'm fun because it's fun because I'm punching shit and it's fun to flail around. If, if anything, the, the the punching shit, the, the the flailing around and the motion control. I was talking to you about this. That actually makes it at the at the beginning of motion control games. It makes it less fun for me. Oh, totally, yeah. Because like I said, I was I was, I was telling Ricky this before. Um, I when whenever I pick up a motion control game for the first little bit, I have to like acclimatize to it because playing motion control games makes me feel like a fucking idiot. Totally. Like, but like the like sudden like having to stand up, and like look at this at this game, and pretend to punch the air in front of you, like if you if you haven't done that shit in a while, you feel like what what am I doing? I can, I I, I can I can fucking I can drink. I can join the army. <laughs> exactly. I can fucking die. Yeah. I can I can die for for someone else right now. And I'm punching <laughs> the air to punching play arms. Air. Yeah. I'm literally just punching air. Um, so you were getting in, into it, though. I was impressed by how much you were enjoying it. I, was, I really, by the end, dude, I, I loved it. By the end, I felt competent, um, at least in relation to the other shitty people playing the test yeah, punch. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I enjoyed the, the character variability, and I was learning some strats, and I was, I was getting the hang of the button combinations, though I'm still not totally with the button combinations. Choice. Yeah, I mean, me either. It, that's so weird. I, I played it for probably an aggregate, like, hour and a half. And I still, like, do the same shit. Like, I never fucking block. Mostly because nobody knows the other... Everybody else sucks, so it doesn't matter yet. But I can tell how complex and, like, this could actually be. And if they, if the motion controls are good enough to support such a complex gameplay style, that's pretty, like, innovative. You know what? That actually brings up something that I, that I haven't thought about now until now, actually, like, looking back on my experience, is I feel like most of the skill only comes in in 1v1s or at the end of the of the free-for-alls when you're going 1v1. Oh, exactly, yeah. And up until that point, it's it's mad dashes and it's, spamming. It's fucking nonsense. And once again, that was us playing That was us playing the, the, the test version. That was us yeah. playing a server test. So we're, 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 we're not that great, neither is anyone else yet. Mm-hmm. But it definitely felt like um, when I was playing against multiple people, uh, there was no reason for me to strategize. Because I... Uh, it wouldn't matter if I if I blocked, because if I blocked one person, if I could watch one person predict what they're doing and and block them, uh, at the same time someone else would be grabbing, especially the frequency at which the the grabbing and the the hit the punches would come, is if there's two people usually one person is going to be blocking or is going to be grabbing and one person totally. is going to be hitting, um and so it just became less important. It all became about dodging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it feels like block it was really getting underutilized in in the game modes absolutely and especially because it is such a fucking fierce counterpart like unlike grabbing and punching 
which which both just require just like actually having to aim and punch their arms like yeah. that that's hard to block but like gr- like fucking blocking you just grab through it and it's really easy yeah you yeah. just have to hit them while they're blocking and i'm sure i'm sure as soon as everybody else gets good uh with punching through everybody else's punches that balance is going to work out but as of now grabs seem pretty op obviously when people would grab too often um, it did become a problem because if, uh, like you guys, if you haven't played the test punch, very good chance it's yes. just a server test. Um, when you when you grab people, uh, grabs can always be defeated by a punch. Most of the time, um, you have there's like weights to the punches. Different yeah. punches can punch through d- different characters' arms, and specific yeah. punch modules can Look, punch through other characters. But you can always punch through a grab. Exactly. There's a fist called the Megaton, and that is really good specifically for that. It's really slow, but it's so humongous that it's really easy to target the punches. Yeah. So, uh, like, whenever I saw you getting over-grabbed, I was like, just punch with your left hand, because you had the Megaton in there, yeah. and it was just like... <laughs> destroyed. That, that, Absolutely that, destroyed. That was when the balance really showed, showed through, was when, like, you were doing that. And, like, uh, like at that point where he kept spamming grab, and I was like, dude, if you punch this fuck, he's not going to do he's shit. He's done, he's done. And you just and killed... He, all he the kept li- doing it, Yeah, too. you just got rid of his entire life bar, and I was so fucking happy that it worked out. Uh, which, that's that's a great sign. That's a great a- sign. Absolutely, that's so, yeah. that, Because, like... We, we saw a problem, we, we remembered the specific balance counterpart to the action that he's doing, and, b- and immediately, worked out. Exactly. balance was reestablished. Yeah. Um, uh, one problem I noticed, specifically with either the server or the game itself, the was grab. The, the grab, yeah. Mm-hmm. The grab was just, like, going through people, and it wasn't Very like, it wasn't like, oh, it's just missing them, like, I don't know what's happening. Like, we tested it multiple times trying to grab, and it was straight up passing through them yep. and coming back, and we weren't sh- sure why. Maybe there's something we don't know. Maybe when they're like blocking, or I'm, maybe when I'm they're in the guessing, middle of punching. You because I've noticed that that grab is it, the the actual positioning of it is relatively sensitive. Um, like you actually have to be pretty pretty close to the center of the grab. And if you notice, there's more tracking on the grab hits really? than there is normally. Uh, with regular punches, it's more your direction. But with but with uh, the grabs, I didn't really have to do much to usually make it go towards them. Uh, so I feel like it's actually a little more sensitive. And what was happening is, since it's just a server test, um, it was probably that they they slipped just outside of the the, the point at which it would have hit them, on their end or on the server end, um, and so it. But but to us, they were still standing in the same place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I would have had to, to 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 test it more often. That's part of the problem with playing playing games, uh, one in such a short time like this, and trying to establish some kind of complex idea about it, and I. Uh, to a game like Arms, where you're just I'm literally freaking out. Yeah, like, <laughs> the um, um, I couldn't get an informed idea and test shit. Yeah, exactly. I, I think another downside was definitely, um, yeah, as you said, the the, the free for alls were just kind of a mess. It Feel could like still it, be fun. I, yeah, it could be fun. It could be simple, stupid fun where you're just yeah. fucking each other. Um, but like. I, I don't see it getting better. I don't see like us learning something that makes it better. I feel like it's always going to be a game that's meant for one v one and four player. Other than in, like volleyball or the basketball game, uh, it's just it just doesn't really yeah. function that well. You yeah, know, yeah. It's, it's, there's no way with that game structure you can make it function well other than volleyball. Um, I think it's cool to put it in there. I guess. I mean, it's fun, stupid fun. I don't think yeah, anybody yeah. should take it seriously. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool like party thing. One one thing I'm really I'm really hoping for is. When they do the matchmaking, um, maybe it's already instituted and they just didn't do it for the, te- for the server test because it wouldn't make sense for the- as a feature for the server test. It would literally, it would be the worst thing for them to yeah. implement for it. But is not choosing or specifically choosing game modes, like when when you go on saying, "I, I only want to be part of one v one matchups and volleyball matchups." Oh, for example. Well, the the, mo- the mode we were playing is quote like party mode is what it's called. It is strictly and specifically just a bunch of random shit that okay, everybody gets grouped okay. in. I'm pretty sure you go to the volleyball mode, go over, and there's online. They just go online. Okay, okay, okay. And okay, then okay. there's a ranked mode to, you know, Was that available online. during the test? No, that, the okay, party, okay, that, yeah, that's, that's the point. Yeah, the yeah party that's what I'm saying. That made sense. Yeah, that exactly. Made sense. What was your favorite character, like, design or just play-wise? Character design? Uh, I can't remember his name. The Master Grim, Mummy? the Grim Creeper, Master Mummy. Yeah, yeah. Master Mummy. He's a, he's, he's a cool boy. Favorite character design. I love the way he looks. Um, hit the Megaton arms. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, Especially when they charge up and like the little things like pop out of them. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Really exactly, sick. exactly. The charge charge hits are also a really cool. Function. Yeah, I really like I that idea. Are. Especially, so this, it, I was surprised because I only thought that shielding would charge them up, but shielding, holding your jump, and holding the dash do it, and that's yeah, like yeah. that surprised me. 
it's so it it rewards it rewards a lot of different play styles in that exactly, way. Exactly. Yeah. I think. Which um, is really cool. Uh, it's it's still no one do- blocked except for me. even yeah. Master Mummy people who have who have a lot of uh, reason to to block because Master Mummy's special ability is that uh, when he's blocking he regains health, yeah. which is an immense benefit. Exactly. In in a game like Arms, especially if you're in a three uh, a, a three free yeah, throw, yeah, yeah, yeah. you totally. can get one guy on the other guy, hang out in the corner and just block and heal. Yeah. Never saw anyone do that, and totally. I'm and that's not I mean. It's not like I did. It's not like I was the yeah, exactly. smart yeah, guy. Totally. It just it just didn't occur. At one point, when, when I was playing as Springman, remember it was the the three free for all, and I just fucking stood behind that pole. And yeah, I was like, exactly. Oh, this will work. Fucking and they just fucking yeah. brutched each other, and I won. Is he your favorite play wise too? No, play wise is is Mechanica. Mechanica was bad. Mechanica. Oh, her, and play, she yeah. she has a hammer, dude. That's my. Oh, shit, her hammer's you know? so fucking little squeaky right fucking hammer is so, so OP, cool. dude. So fucking cool. Fuck that shit. Um, and and her dodges. Like I said, she's yeah, yeah. she's she's she's, she's a. I genuinely think she might be a little bit overpowered at she this may point be. because the hammer does fucked up damage. Um, her, her, she has she has poise. She has the same thing that uh, Mum, Monster Mummy. What was his name? I already forgot. Master Mummy. Master Mummy. She has the same thing that Master Mummy has, where uh, she doesn't flinch when she gets punched, like most like most of the other characters do. And she also has the jump jets, yeah, which gave her an, um, just so much mobility. Like I, when totally. I when I went back to, to Master Mummy because I was playing, I played Mechanica for for probably half of the entire time that I was uh, that I was playing the the test punch, and then uh, the the other half I played Master Mummy, but it was split up. First quarter I played Master Mummy. I played for I played Helix a little bit, um, I, but I, he, and he was cool. But I just really like heavy characters, and then yeah. I played Mechanica, and then I played Master Mummy again, and I, it fucked me up because I had gotten better at that point as Mechanica, and I was using dodges, and I was using jumps more often, and her jump dodges are are amazing. They they cover so much distance and put you so far out of what people are comfortable trying to hit, and then I'd go to Master Mummy, and he'd he'd fucking hobble into the <laughs> air, and I'd, I I was it was really messing up my game because the mobility was so much lower. Um, it's just a fucking fat brick. Yeah. That's like, the thing. He's he's, he's just he's a fat the, wall. He's the real heavy. He's the mighty yeah, yeah. glacier character. He's got a thick ass. Like those spandex really just really. <laughs> Is he wearing spandex? <laughs> well, on, over his fucking wrappings. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 My favorite design in at least in the demo um, was Min Min. I really like her fucking little Rama hat and her Rama hair. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so I immediately there's a character so- like that in uh, in Ace Attorney. Remember. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Eldune. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, noodle backwards. I love that guy. Oh! I fucking love that I, like, guy. When he like slurps his hair. Yeah, yeah. She, she's cool. I, I really liked her design, so I really wanted to play as her. Um, and she's also thick. Yeah. She's very two thick. C's. Exactly. Space between all letters. Exactly. All there caps. you go. No, not all caps. She's not that. Not, she's oh, not, not twin tail. Oh, okay, yeah, she's okay. not twin tail yet. But she, she's a kind of thick. That's like muscly thick, but also feel like you can just fucking spank it. She's eighteen, guys. That's why they're so called don't, see, don't worry about it. She's officially eighteen. <laughs> um. She, but I didn't enjoy playing as her, and, mo- and it wasn't because of her like special, which is she kicks away arms when she dodges. Yeah, it was because of the loadout they gave her. I just I don't know the megaton. I would combo the megaton and the little boomerang thing, and it wasn't really working for me. Especially because I started with her, and she was pretty relatively complex. Dealing with the throne, the throne arms can be hard. That that fucked me up a few times when I was playing Master Mummy because he has the one where you throw a bird. Oh, the bird, yeah. Um, yeah. And it you, you're left with nothing, and your arm fully extended the whole time, exactly, and yeah. you can't do, you can't block when it's nope. like that either. Uh, so it, it did fuck me up. Mm-hmm. It's hard to it's hard um, to consider it in the playstyle. And ironically, my favorite, my probably the one I had the most fun playing as, but is my fucking least favorite design is fucking. Uh, Spring man, fucking piece yeah. of shit. He looks I hate like him. I, he looks like such a fucking. He's dick. Such a, I like. He looks his, like such a dork. Like, yeah, it is, he's like his head's like or his hair, his neck is fucking long and he has big doofy fucking ears. Yeah. Like, oh, boy, oh, oh yeah, and his voice is dumb. Yeah. He does that. Boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I feel like it's like, about how much you see him. You know, like exactly. Yeah. Like he well, he's well, charming at first. Well, because all he said in the January event was like, "Oh, springaling," and I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cool." And now he says like fucking boy, oh, boy, and shit, and I'm like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> uh, since I am like such a noob at this game, uh, the all-around like Mario character, you know, like from Mario Kart and Smash, he's like the most simple character to play as. He just he had the two like regular fists, and that really helped me play. Um, so he was my favorite to play as, and I really hope that changes soon because he's a fucking douchebag. Did you try? Uh... What what's the other girl? Ribbon girl. Oh, ribbon because girl. She no, also had some regular looking. Yeah, looking yeah. She's heads. probably the she's probably the like equivalent. 
you know? She's she, a Luigi to the Mario. Pretty much. Yeah. She, but she has the double jump, which yeah. is, like, more unique than his his special, which is, like, when he's at low health, he gets, like, permanent charge on his yeah. fist, which is pretty good. Which, it's, a, it's that's, pro, that's another thing that's actually gonna... Uh, did we say that he was gonna be high skill cap? Because Ooh. that sounds like a really high skill cap thing. Maybe, yeah. Because if you can if you can stay low health, like that's a that's a specific strategy. People do that in Dark Souls runs all the time. Is totally. you know, they'll they'll get the red tear stone ring, which ups your attack at low health, and then just spend the whole game at low health. If if you can get down there quick and then and then like start reliably yeah. keeping away from damage, that sounds like like something totally. that could be I could a real high that. skill I could capability. See that. Um, but I, I like the character designs in general. I like I'm okay with Ribbon Girl, kinda. I don't really like her voice. Min Min's awesome. Uh, Master Mummy's sick. Uh, mechanic is sick. Helix is my big boy. Helix is Helix, Helix is a fantastic <laughs> design. I love. I, <laughs> actually, yeah, that's actually like he actually kind of comes up against fucking Master yeah, Mummy for fucking favorite excellent. design. He's a he fucking, looks really cool. I love him. Here, here's a good question, actually. All the arms characters are themed around something that is like able to be sprung, like Ribbon Girl's ribbons. Spring Man's <laughs> like like springs. you when that round thing get in your face. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, R Ribbon Girl's fucking ribbons. Mechanica is a fucking robot, so she has like springs. Uh, he looks also the only character that is actually a double amputee. Oh, exactly. Yeah, true. Uh, he looks has the DNA strands that are all curly. Yeah. Uh, Ninjara's chains. All that kind of shit. Fucking Master Mummy's the wrappings. Noodles. That shit. Noodles. <laughs> uh, and like Twin Tails or Ponytails. What do you think? What what other spring-like thing do you think they could base the character off of? Dude, I, I bet I bet they're gonna they're gonna use a Luffy from One Piece until they take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's letter. a really shitty fucking <laughs> texture mapping. Like, yeah. <laughs> just just like put over one of the other characters. Exactly. But yeah. not like fix the skin so it looks normal. That's, when what, he yeah, that's out. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's just it's like the skin over it, so he still has like Spring Man's hair and shit. And no, like, put it put it over put it over fucking uh, Monster Mummy <laughs> or Helix. So you like it's fucking Master down. Mummy. Yeah. It's hard, master okay? fucking mummy. He's a monster. He's a fucking He's a master. Mummy. That's what he is. He's a master of fucking mummy. What? I don't know. What other what other spring shit is Cubic hairs. That's it. That sounds like Nintendo. That's <laughs> Nintendo's. I can see like I can see like a if there's anything I know Re Reggie likes. Yeah, Reggie it's loves some PBs. Fucking getting all up in the bush. Exactly. <laughs> it's truth. Oh, I can see like a monitor head, like a an old school computer monitor, and it has like coiled up like cords. That's fist. a great one. Yeah, actually, that that's sick. a really good one. That would be dope, and it can change its expression like bleep it, like a CRT. Like, I'm, I'm almost certain something all, like exactly like that happens in a regular show. I would love that. That would be a great. Character. Yeah, that'd be cool. And and I feel like like it probably have like a lot of glitch and data based like stuff and sound effects. And I yeah, love exactly. that. Sound that would effect. be really cool. Any re every excuse to get the dial up noise in <laughs> more video games. Yeah, 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 that'd be awesome. That can be that can be his uh, his knockout punch like track, you know, like you get that you get a track on your knockout punch. That'd be Just fucking awesome. Oh, they can do like a fast food one. That'd be like a curly fries. Curly fries, yeah, like and it's like a burger head. And, like, <laughs> it's like disgusting, puking sauce. I would everywhere. I would like to see that, but I don't know. I if think it would be gross. Would yeah, I think it's like very gross for the yeah, theme, yeah, yeah. but it would be. I mean, he looks is fucking disgusting. And his teeth. He is gross. It, well, he has one. He's, no, technically it is teeth because yeah. he has two teeth. He has two teeth. One, he one has large one top tooth, tooth and yeah. one bottom tooth. And when we say that, don't picture him like having like like a oh, yeah, fucking like a Appalachian's yeah. mouth. No, we're saying he's got like one tooth plate on it's the a bottom, beak, basically, yeah, yeah. and then one tooth plate on the top. It's disgusting. Plants, plants could work like Probably. vines. Yeah. yeah. I just be fucking poison ivy. Bayonetta, 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 Bayonetta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically she uh, she could, but th th that's a joke. That's could she? Not me thinking that could happen. Yeah, oh hair. yeah, she has hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that would just be that's just Twintel. Pretty much. So uh, Twintel's fucking yoink, yoink. I want to yoist that yoist. Oh, intestines. <laughs> the inside out person. Well, they, see the the thing that just uh, that's just a giant ball of flesh. Inside <laughs> reference. Um. Yoi. The, the thing about all these is I'd love to see them, but I do not think that Nintendo would... I, I could see the computer movies. monitor. The com yeah, computer yeah. monitor, I can see. Plants, maybe. Yeah, plant. I, I, think I don't see the food or the intestines one happening. I could, but though, like, they, they sound cool. I'd like to play a fucking gross intestines. No, that would not yeah. happen. That, like, <laughs> yeah, there's fucking, no fucking that, like, like a Binding of Isaac character. Yeah! In, in arms, I'd be, I'd, be, be so, I'd be so into that. Um, maybe shit. You know how, like, sometimes... Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Come on, you shit. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, come on. One of those twisty slides on the it, playground. Oh, so, 
<laughs> like I'm tapped out. I don't know what the fuck they could do. I'm I'm curious. I'm curious. And maybe they'll just fucking give up and like that would kinda make me sad. The bark and bite isn't necessarily themed after anything. They do have like no. copper coils. No. They have like copper coils, which is like definitely something that exists. Well that's part of it is like some of them that there's no fucking reason for them to be able to do the things. Like like uh Mechanica oh, she, there's a reason for her to be able to do it, but she's not themed after anything besides I lost my fucking arms. She didn't actually lose her fucking arms, dude. You told me that she's actually No, she doesn't have the arms. Like people are bored or wake up one day and they have this the springy arms. Like, oh, in okay, okay. And they wake up. Did you have... think I was fucking joking earlier? Yeah. I thought she <laughs> legit was the only joking. Okay. No, Mechanica just is a regular like little girl. That built a robot. Oh, okay, okay. So she could compete in Well, tournaments. that's what I'm saying, is that's not a theme, that's just more fucking springs. No, yeah, that, that, one, so that one's for the most, like, theme this. Uh, Ribbon Girl has, has has ribbons, which, like, that's, that's like, a, a, a tenuous theme in the first place. Well, that's the reason. The reason she is Ribbon Girl noodles, is because... Noodles are not, do not curl like that. that Ramen uh, does. That's actually a good point, it's just, that, like, we're thinking of springy shit, it could just be literally any long, thin thing. No, I think it's, I think it's specifically things that are coiled. Like, coils. Pigtails, uh, ribbons, springs. P actual pigtails. It's just a like, horrific Oh, pigtails. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, keep, I make that noise for every fucking... <laughs> um, I don't know. Wood shavings? <laughs> that could work. I'd be with that. That, that I, Actually, I could see that function. Because, like, 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 a tree trunk, trent, like, main body, and then, like, a... Like, it's got the bark, and you can see the lighter wood underneath, on, like, where the arms would be. Yeah. And it's got those curly, yo, yo, like, yo, yo, yo. things. Yeah, that yeah, totally. totally. work, yeah. Totally. Uh, that kind of comes under the, the plant. Part, yeah, totally. So. Totally, totally. 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 What, what curly, like, animal species is there? Turtle. Turtle. Pretty turtle. <laughs> <laughs> my cat tried to pee on my laundry earlier, and I sprung my springy arms at it. Fucking smush it against the wall. They couldn't defend because no one knows how to defend against gravity. He's grabbing. yours, you can't grab. He's the shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Teeth? No. <laughs> Teeth? When your nails. You know what's really long and thin and curly? Teeth. Teeth. Teeth when, your are. when your nails grow, they're like. They curl. They would not do that. Yeah, they curl. No, no, not the. Oh, no, I mean, Nintendo, Nintendo would not. Do I don't know. Other twisty animal species. I know, I'm trying to think of one. Uh, sn oh, f oh, Snake's already one. Snake's already a character. Really? <laughs> yeah, Kid Cobra. Oh, you yeah. Know, the yeah. Snake Skater dude. Sea Dragon. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, have, you have to feel bad now. I'm really I glad don't. people I can't don't. see this because people would, like, like they'd I didn't get fucking crucified. push her off. I just tried to grab Ricky her. Ricky just fell fucking off. full arm slapped his cat. <laughs> she fell from, like, a foot and a half, maybe. <laughs> Ricky just fucking chucked his cat and speedballed her at the wall. She's just like sitting there pouting now. Barnacle. <laughs> Barnacle. Dude, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, fuck, why did we think of the Sonic? Yeah. Tails is twisty. Tails is a twisty Tails board. is pretty fucking gay. I can see Tails working though. Like if it, like the thing what? is is like like there there could totally be characters from other IPs that would like really work in this game, but it would completely devalue the point of the game. Oh, yeah. Well, Me Mega Man has a character straight up named Spring Man. But that's what I'm saying, is bring bringing them over, I'm not saying it would devalue the designs. I'm saying, like, I feel like part of ARMS' point is the original characters. And bringing in, like, franchise characters feels like kind of a, I don't know, a corruption yes. of the purpose of ARMS. You know what they could fucking do? You know what they could fucking do? You know what they could fucking do? So this is a bit of a stretch. But they could do like an old timey barber, because they had the little curly Barbie. Oh barber no! Bones. I would yeah. fucking love to. Oh, be sick. dude, a fucking like scissor. Yeah, exactly. Arm. That'd yeah, be fantastic. That'd be super cool. And like a razor one. Damn, yeah, that'd like, be nice. Like the fucking scissors, like fucking cuts off their arms. Like they're like. Ah! Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> fucking arm! That waveform. That waveform has fully filled out that entire fucking <laughs> segment. Um. Yeah. But yeah, stu uh, I, I could I could actually see that happening, and I'd I would really like that. Um, stuff stuff that we'd like we'd like to to, to see from Arms before yeah. it comes out. But let's let's conclude. Let us conclude together. Arms I'm is concluding, fucking baby. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our <laughs> Arms has major fucking potential. I'm having a great time. It has a potential to have maybe not as much complexity as Smash, 
but like enough to make it fun and not a fucking durr. It's like, a it's a mentally complex for emotion control fighting. You game. fucking whore. All right. Anyway, uh, it has a it has immense complexity for emotion control fighting. <coughs> I, I expected totally. it to be significantly more simplistic than what what came to us. Exactly. And I was having legitimately intense matches with people when I saw Billy like really start to get into it. I was I was impressed because I kind of expected Billy to really just not enjoy himself. Um, and I was looking, I was also looking forward to having like a debate, kind of about somewhat. about about like me not liking it and you liking it. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I no, I like fighting games. I'm just bad at most of them. I was just saying, fight, I meant motion controls. I didn't, I thought you just straight up hated motion controls because of how you felt about Splatoon. What was no? Yeah, okay, yeah. Ba background. I'm I'm just I was shit at the motion controls for aiming for Splatoon because I've, part of it is I've got really shaky hands and the other part of it is I just wasn't used to it, and so I really I shat on them, and. <laughs> I still, I still hold up that there are a really bad um, motion, con there are really bad control for for beginners. Um, you should definitely not start playing the game with the motion controls oh, if you is... want to get a good, a good like experience out of it, so that you don't hate the game first. I would say, I would say, you know what? We'll, we'll save this topic for another fucking day. Uh, Billy's a gay lord. That's but it. I've got a point. No. I've got a point though. You've got a point in your pants. Got a point, and the point, the point that I'm pulling out of my pants right now is. Oh, don't use the motion controls on Splatoon the first Fuck time you play the game. Off. All right, but it's it's a, it's actually it is actually pretty complex. I was getting some some great combos, but there was this one match right at the end, dude, where I was genuinely, it was really cool because I felt like I was making plans. It felt like I was actually uh, responding to things that they did, and they were responding to, to things that I did, like. They yeah, would, yeah. they would uh, grab, to go to grab me, and I would punch, punch the grab, and like a little bit later to give it lag time, I would punch, curve my my punch off to the side, and then around to hit him in the face, and exactly. they would, they would dodge out of the way and and jump, and it, like stuff was actually getting really complex, and it felt mm -hmm. intense, and it felt good. It, yeah, it's really cool how real time all the like decision making and like strategy is, yeah. like how like it's not, it's not. It's so real time that it, you only really know your complete strategy until after you punch. Like yeah, you see, yeah. like okay, this is how my punch is going. I'm going to curve it now. So you decide what you're gonna try to do and adjust after that. Have we talked really about how the the we've talked about the controls about the actually we haven't even really talked all that much about the controls. You punch. Well, I mean, like how we feel about the controls, both button and motion. We didn't play them. We didn't use the button controls. No, I mean like the buttons that on. The oh yeah, button as yeah. as part of the motion control. No, not really. Um, I I like them. I, I think that uh, <coughs> I don't know if I would call them intuitive, specifically because I wasn't getting it most of the time, or I wasn't just I wasn't using them most of the time. Time. It's it's weird how mindless using an analog stick to move is, and it, like how much I realize it now because I play arms and I'm like, Deeply why? why? Set. Exactly. Yeah. Point, it's yeah. like it's like um, I say, why the fuck am I not moving? And I realize like I'm not putting I'm not even putting any input in the controller to move or do anything. I'm just so used to like well, thinking a direction and moving that way yeah, because exactly. my thumbs do the do the talking. Yeah, I was I was I was playing uh, I was playing Prey, which came out a couple weeks ago, um, and I, my my grandma was watching me last night, and like it doesn't happen with my parents as much anymore because they've been watching me do this shit all my life, but my grandma only moved in with us a couple years ago and doesn't really watch me play video games because she doesn't give a shit, but she was having a smoke in the living room. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, she was astounded by the number of actions, like, per second that I was taking and, like, how like how smoothly I was moving through, uh, like, a game world at high speeds. And it really makes you just think about how, um, like, deep... The, the just the conception of game space yeah um, is inside us at this point it's how, really interesting how easily we can visualize yeah. our, our, our surroundings in game space at this point uh but not us like when i say us i mean like people who play video games i don't mean me and Rick. i'm not being like it's really oh, yeah, amazing yeah, how we're fucking so sick like, it's Ricky insane. and i are it's mostly stuff. fucking geniuses yeah no, no no i know what you mean like it, it is an actually complex thing to put an input on a thing and have it do that especially like Literally, uh, thousands of different combinations that could do different and, things, and in so, and in so many directions and such fine control. Like like there's a there's a fucking uh, a zero grav part of prey, and I would be having fights in zero gravity and like like changing my my direction in in three di in three dimensions, 
uh, and yeah. fighting at the same time, and I would be rolling the, the 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 left analog stick to all different directions, and I I would I would be rolling around an axis while also moving my right analog stick to look and fighting shit at the same time, and it was ba- it was barely even a, a a more difficult way to fight than than normal, and it's just it's just how completely. Um, where you're you're able to to like kind of full dive yourself into this. Totally. Um, we're not uh, talking about arms anymore. Though. I know. But Billy doesn't like the little the little the, the the bumpers for the jumps and the dashes. No, I don't. I think the I think the jumps and the dashes and the super buttons should be switched. I agree. I don't. I, I don't see the reason it's not. Yeah, it's 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 bad right now. I because. I mean, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But okay. It's it's less than good, which in a in a in a high, in a fast paced fighting game means it's bad. I suppose. Uh, because the the two buttons that you use right now for jump and dash, which are extremely important, much more important than do- than block. Yes. At this point in the meta, as it exists in the global test punch of an hour. It's truth. I. Uh, they're they're like they, you do them a lot more because I. Uh, it, it, it's just harder to hit what isn't even there in the first place. Um, and you only use your special usually once a match. Usually yeah. the special is what you, you either do as you're about to die or as you're about to win. Totes. Um, and there, it's... The, the, the special button to do your ultimate is, is, the, is the two triggers, which are large and easy to press, and they, they <laughs> click, they give you feedback, whereas the, the jump and dodge buttons are the bumper buttons, which uh, you barely feel to press and are very thin. Yo, I, I mean... They're good for as oh, buttons for oh. your index because your index covers the entire bumper button. No, I I, to- I, I do I do totally get what you are saying, but I I just ha- I didn't have that in my experience. I never fucked up when I was pressing the bumpers. I was always it was always doing what I wanted it to uh, that's, do. That's that's part of it too. Is, is Ricky didn't have the problem I had where sometimes I'd go to press the bumper button and I'm just I have shit just stupid on hands everywhere. and I would and I'd slip past the bumper button and press the button that switches uh, focus on who you're fighting. Yeah. Which also wasn't a super useful pa- like ability. It was totally. not a super useful button in in the context of, of arms as it yeah. currently is. Uh, one thing I noted that I, I just like thought about is that why 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 isn't shield button mapped? Like, it seems like an unnecessary like. You mean dodge or no. not? Or fuck block. Yeah, block. Oh yeah, I, I felt the same thing. I was it's going. So weird. There were a few times when when I would go to press the button to switch the thing to, to shield because it just felt like like there should be a button yeah, yeah. For it instead. And also. Because it's it's taken to motion controls, it's way it's way less reliable. The punches are good because it's it's solid. It's it's just is there any motion in this direction? Yeah, exactly. I uh, where whereas for it's this it's is there motion in opposing directions in a rotation? Yo, yeah. And it I I often found myself getting up and then having a lot of lag between getting up and then and being able to do shit and then starting to do a block. Yo, yeah. And it fucked me up. A, it fucked me up a few times. So I really um, feel like like if you could do it. And, and and cue the action while you were down on the ground. Exactly. Um, it, you'd you'd be able to play a, a much more functional fight. Um, in, in my experience, the problem with blocking for me wasn't that I I, I was trying to do it and it wasn't doing it. Is that I, I was I wasn't trying to do it and it was doing it. That that Cause, too. Because yeah. you tilt and move and you and you. Sometimes you're gonna you're not gonna you may not move one like exactly, rotate one of yeah. your hands as fast. You tilt, yeah. So so but the weird part is is there's there's no point. There's no point for block to not be button mapped. Because literally, you could just have one of the buttons be the special, other button be block. I can see grab because you want to aim the grab. You don't aim the block. There's yeah. no like, the motion controls are necessary in arms because you can aim, and that's the same with Splatoon. It, I, they're not shoved in there because it makes the game objectively yeah. better. Yeah, that's but, uh, but that's with something the block, else. It doesn't. It just it makes it it makes it uncomfortable. The yeah. block the block is not there. The block is shoved in there as a motion control. Yeah, it's it. I think I think what it is is it's. Sometimes developers get caught up in the idea of a motion control game. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, and they feel like they have to they have to adhere to like like this kind of overarching myth. Mm-hmm. Um, a myth might might be too strong, but just this this archetype, this theme that that, that they're supposed to be. Um, whereas you shouldn't you shouldn't think of it as a motion control game first. You should think of it as a game that has motion control that's supposed to work. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, they think they think of of motion controls more as a replacement for a button instead of like something that is something there, that is can only in, work as motion control yeah it's it's all it's all a uh, user interface that's the whole point yes yeah. is don't don't give me motion control don't do, if, if it has motion control and buttons don't just let me use buttons or just let me use motion control just let me interface yeah just let me play 
that should be the, that exactly. should be the goal is when you're playing a game you should never feel like you should never feel like you're uh, <coughs> interacting with a medium mm-hmm. when you're playing a game you should feel like you're playing you should feel yeah, like you're yeah. being you should feel like you're doing you shouldn't feel like you're do like you sh- the, the 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 whole point of a control scheme is to make people forget that they're using it exactly all right um, and and I and I feel like there are, are a few a couple small places on in, in the arms uh, button setup on the motion control right now where I I would I would get knocked out yeah. a little bit. But I, there were times like that, like I said, that last fight I felt great and I exactly. was really into it and everything was really really stitching up. Yeah, and I, I don't think that means that like they have to use motion controls to what? stitches. Fucking true doctor. stitches could work. Fucking yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. medical. That'd truth cool. truth yeah. that would be cool. Um, or like I, surgical tubing. Exactly. I don't think that I don't think that uh, motion control should be used to immerse someone in the game. You know, like I feel like that's why the block there, and I feel like that's why you move by tilting. Well, I'm, I'm not, not saying motion control specifically. I'm saying the point of. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. you yeah. there. Uh, um, but I don't think that they should be used for that. I think they should be used to make a game that can't be made without them. Yeah. And and arms does that in a in a great ways, but in other ways it kind of feels shoved in there. Like I feel you. I feel like it might be better to move with a Joy-Con with just one Joy-Con. Like you could have one Joy-Con for thought, blocking and everything. I, th- I thought the same just, thing. Yeah. Because what both both hands, I feel like that's that's too much input. And exactly. I, and I, I thought that that meant that there would be something that only used one Joy-Con. Yeah. But it it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Um. Except- maybe do do you think it would be better if there was one Joy-Con that was for. Uh, like left or right, and the other for forward back. I, I feel like that would probably confuse people. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's too much. That's too much operation. Because the problem is we're, we're we're not we're not perfect, you know. Yeah. Like we can't move it should both really, of our it hands should just be completely. One. I feel like the yeah. whole, I feel like it's just there's like they they just want to make it look more active. That's one exactly. of the big things about motion control games is they always want to make it look as as if it's mm-hmm. as if people are doing shit, having yeah, fun, yeah, yeah. jumping around, hey hey. I, uh, and 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 only having you move one stick. Maybe, maybe just isn't enough. Yeah. I don't know. There's well, the punching cause, alone. Because you always think of, like, you think of just a big D-pad. You're just one stick you're twisting around to move. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, like, that would leave the other one for just blocking. Like, you'd have it at your side. You'd be moving with the one stick, punching. Well, that would be the one weird part, is that then your 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 One hand is stationary exactly. until you punch. Like, yeah. you, it, it, it would make it not uh, symmetrical. Maybe they maybe they did try that, and they were like, this, doesn't, this feels unnatural. Yeah. I'm not willing to punch with the other one, because this one's obviously... The, the main show. I feel like this is a good point to, to, to just remember that we we've only had we've only had experience with the global test. Program. Oh exactly yeah. I mean, I've only had an hour. You've had three. Probably like two. You had like you had like 45, 40 minutes because yeah, I yeah. played for like the first twenty minutes. Yeah. So I've had about like two. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're gi- we're giving our opinions on a game that we have we have exactly. had very yeah. little time to uh, to really experience and we've definitely not gone into it in, in the depth. To which the point that I that I feel like I can say mm-hmm. anything final. Totally. Um, but I, you know, for a little first impressions review. Yeah, I, I, I had a great time. I'm I'm mostly mostly good. Yeah, exactly. I'll, like mostly good the entire way. If I if I had to like say like if I had to say whether I'm more or less excited after the test fire, I'm way more excited. Like it wants me to. It, it makes me want to get deeper into this game and yeah. like. I thought it was going to be a significantly more shallow experience. I thought that the that the punches, um, were I, I thought that the that the directing of the punches after the punch was going to be a disaster, personally. Sure. Um, it, it just sounded like it wasn't going to work out. But the switch, the switch's motion controls surprised me again. It's pretty crazy. This, yeah, yeah. Um, it it is it fucks me up how how accurate they can be without without any kind of infrared sensor. Yeah, the little piece um, of fucking plastic. Um, I'm just gay. That's a good ending. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice.